After you install the plugin, you can enable it in Settings, Dockers, Recordators Comic Panel Generator. It probably will show up in bottom right corner. I recommend you to put it somewhere where you can use it more comfortably. So how does it work? When you create a new file and, ch uh, and change the resolution to the one you would like, uh, the preview of a plugin will change aspect ratio according to the document you created. And you have, how, how do you create uh, panels? It will be created according to the number of rows and columns you decided to use. And um, if you think that gutter, the space between panels is uh, too small, you can change it here and um, you can change the way that horizontal uh, gutters are more thicker than the vertical ones. Just uncheck this and now they are different sizes. Um, you can change the color of the gutter by clicking here and um, now it's yellow. You can also change the size of the outline, which is here. You can go extreme, but I don't need it. And you can change the color of the outline too. So after we change the colors, what if we want three panels on the first row, but only one panel on the second? We can just uh, click on the wall between panels and it will disappear. And the same will go for this wall or uh, for the border of the wall um, and uh, I should also mention if you click on the little square that is connecting four walls after you click on it the walls that connected to it will also disappear and if you click on it again all the four walls will appear again After we decided with what panels we would like on our page, there are two options to add to our document. First, we can generate it as a layer and it will create a raster image that's really hard to manipulate. You can change the color, but um, you can choose the other option, generate as a file that will create new file. Just click OK and it will generate a vector layer that you can manipulate uh, just like any vector object before. And you can create some very dynamic um, panels, for example, like this, and you can just um, copy this layer and add to your um, page, simple as that. Um, I understand this plugin looks uh, underwhelming. I think you would expect something like Clip Studio Paint or Medibang uh, 
function that create uh, dynamic panels. For that, I would recommend you to check the, the video that has illegally low views from the user pretentious philosophers. Uh, it is a very great video um, explaining how you can create vector panel, vector layer, uh, while using uh, layer style stroke. So first we need to create vector layer and after she created she will open layer style and uh, she will put this options and I recommend you to check this video on your own and leave a like because it's I think it's very useful. I recommend to use positioning uh, outside because in Krita 5 um, positioning center doesn't work right for me. So it will, um, we need to create um, a rectangle around the page and then we can just use uh, vector tools to create dynamic paging. Unfortunately, it's not ever proof, so you will need a little time to figure out the best look. But I think it's very um, good other option if you don't like my plugin. I recommend you to check this video and I recommend you to check uh, my plugin and see for yourself what will be more uh, comfortable in your use. Thank you for watching.